It's been a little while since we've done a pickups video. So for today's video, we are going to be looking at my most recent gaming pickups. Now there's going to be a mixture of different platforms here from the likes of Nintendo Switch, PS5, PS4 and Xbox One. What? What? Now when I originally planned to film this video, there was only really five pickups until the other day. Oh, did you? Hi. Now, if you live in the UK, you'll have heard of a store known as BNM. It's pretty much an end, be all end all store shop, which has like pretty much anything you could think of under one roof. Now, we were going through the checkout just with some usual things, and then my wife spotted a bargain bin near the till which had heaps of half price video games. What was that? <laughs> so of course we came away with a handful of games from here. Actually six of them. So let's have a look at these ones first. Now let's be clear, these first six are not JRPGs, but I do like other games which aren't JRPGs. So let's have a look at the first one, which is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Brand new, half price. I mean, the Assassin's Creed games, the later ones, are really good. I really enjoyed, um, was it, I'm trying to look at my shelf, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the Viking one. <laughs> I couldn't remember the name. So yes, Assassin's Creed Odyssey is set in the Roman time. So I am looking forward to delving into that one. So the next game from this B&M lot <laughs> is Watch Dogs 2. This is another Ubisoft open world game. I've not actually played a Watch Dogs game before, but I heard that the Watch Dogs 2 was the better one out of the original two which was released. I've not played Legions and to be honest with you, I didn't really look at reviews for it. So it's a Ubisoft game, yeah. <laughs> Now this one is fantastic and I have played this before on the likes of the Vita and on the Xbox 360 but come on you've got to love it. It's Rayman Legends. Now Rayman Legends is a fantastic platformer and it has some oh just some really fun gameplay in this and especially with the, the music levels in it. Oh, so good. If you have not played Rayman Legends or Rayman Origins at that it is Rayman at its finest. Get on it. Now recently I did put out a video which was 7 weird and wonderful JRPG DLC. That is a handful to say. And one of the recommendations, well, one of the choices on that list was to be in the game Soul Calibur 6. Now I don't actually own that game until now. Soul Calibur 6 was in that lot and Come on, it's Soul Calibur. I mean, I haven't played a Soul Calibur game in quite a long time, but from what I did play back in the past, I did like these fighting games, and it's good to have if my wife decides she wants to fight me in this. Because <laughs> when we play Street Fire, she always kicks my ass at it. <laughs> but then I get you bottom brushes. <laughs> Now we did mention that there was actually Xbox One pickups in this. Now I only actually have one physical Xbox One game in my collection, but not anymore. I'm up to three. <laughs> so the first one that we got from this lot was Monopoly Madness. Now I have been looking for a Monopoly game, whether it was on the PlayStation, the um, Nintendo Switch. And it was half price for this one. So you know what, finally bit the bullet. So now we have something to play on the Xbox downstairs because basically the Xbox is a Blu-ray player for us. So woohoo. Now the next Xbox One game, which is actually not for me. It's actually for my little boy. Although you're all going to say it's for me, <laughs> is Rush, which is a Disney Pixar adventure. Now. This one we had a little bash at it and it's mini games featuring the likes of Buzz Lightyear, the Cars characters, Up, Incredibles, Ratatouille and Finding Nemo. So a nice little kid friendly game for the wee man. Now I hear your cries going, where's the JRPGs? Come on. Well, we are here. <laughs> now you may have spotted in one of my videos recently 
which was titled The JRPGs We Never Shut Up About. A game was actually shown in there in my most recent pickups, and that is Altier. <coughs> I cannot pronounce it. Atelier Sophie 2. See, I got there. I got there. Atelier Sophie 2, the reason I got this, this was a recommendation from the Kiseki Nut. And after doing editing and listening to the battle theme multiple times, I actually pulled the trigger on it. Now, I had vouchers um, from the game collection, which is a, a site that I use quite a lot in the UK for pre ordering games. It does usually has like all the NIS America games so I didn't actually pay, pay a penny for this one so it's pretty cool and there's a wee poster get in so a game which has been on my wish list for a while and you may know that I am a fan of the Tokyo RPG Factory company which is under Square Enix so I finally got Oni Naniki into my collection now i've been really looking forward to playing this the demo was fantastic for it i have actually recommended it in a video before about action jrpgs that you should play based on my uh, time with the demo so i'm really looking forward to delving into that world fully with this now this next game was totally mishandled by square enix and was sold on the premise of it being a farming game which it is totally not it is a action JRPG through and through which has farming simulator. What's the word I'm looking for? Elements, that's the word. That is the word. <laughs> and it is Harvest Stella. Now, Harvest Stella, I've played the demo in full for this for the Nintendo Switch, and I really, really enjoyed it. So my plan is, once I finish my next game, which is showing on this list, to play Harvest Stella. I am really looking forward to carrying over the data from my demo save onto this one and carrying on with the world of Harvest Stella. Because it's got some, re it's, it's really fun. <laughs> now one of my most highly anticipated releases for 2023 is here. Yes, it is The Legend of Heroes Trails into Riviera. Uh, Riviera. Uh, one day I will pronounce these things right. <laughs> that game. So yes, I am a big fan of the Trails games. And this is finally taking all the arcs, the likes of the Sky arc the Crossbell arc and the Erebonia arc and tying it all together before we hit Calvert, which we'll probably not get to until about 2026, 27, knowing Falcom. <laughs> but the most highly anticipated JRPG for me and was the reason why I got a PS5 Final Fantasy 16. Now I am halfway through this according to the PlayStation 5 and I have been enjoying every single second of it. The story is fantastic, the characters is fantastic, Clive as a protagonist is amazing. And the one thing which is um, e either you, you love the combat or you hate the combat and I absolutely love it. Yeah, if you've not played Final Fantasy 16 or if you're planning on getting it, this is my recommendation, get it. It's so good. So anyway, those were my most recent gaming pickups. Was there any from my pickups that you really like or you are yet to play yourself? Let me know in the comments down below. And please help me grow the channel by liking, sharing and subscribing. And if you want to be kept up to date with everything chicken fillets, please hit that notification bell. This has been Chicken Fillets, and until next time, tatty bye.